Hello everyone, welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to convert Boolean objects into subdivision surface ready models. In this first part, which will be on YouTube, I will model these parts only. You can find the remaining parts on Patreon, but in this part, I will show you everything you need to know about converting Boolean objects into subdivision surface ready models. So, I hope you will learn something new and enjoy the tutorial. So let's get started. All right, let's first import the image plane. Go to the front view, Shift and V back and select the image. Then I will add my first object and it's gonna be a cube. I'm gonna make it editable and go into points mode. I will hit zero on the keyboard to get rectangle selection. I'm going to select this and move this down. This object is basically consists of three layers or three parts. You can say three boxes. Everything is looking clear. I will go into model mode and scale the Z only. This should be enough. I will go into edge mode. I will select ring selection U and B, or you can get it from here, ring selection. I will select this, right click, select bevel, and I'm gonna bevel this out with, let's say two subdivisions. I will go to the front view and bevel this like that. I will go into points mode and move this down just a bit. All right, not bad. Now I will go into model mode, hold down control and drag this object off. It's going to duplicate it. This one is supposed to be slightly smaller than the first one. So I'm going to scale this in just a bit. Then I'm going to grab these top points and move this down. Oh, sorry, I should not move this down. I need to duplicate this one. Hold down control, drag this off. Uh, actually, I don't need this one. Yes, I'm gonna put this one right over here and I'm gonna scale it on the Z. The reason for this, I will show you in a second. Also, let's hide the first cube for the moment and get this one. Hold down Alt and add a bool and put the second cube under that. So the reason that I scaled the object on the Z only so that it covers the whole object. If it's large, uh, smaller than the first one, uh, you are going to get this. Then I am going to hit NNB on the keyboard to see the wireframes. I will go back to the bool, click on this one so that when I make the bool editable, it's going to give me a single object. I will select these two edges, grab back the bevel tool and I will apply the same bevel settings. I have just applied on the old edges, apply, so that we are going to get a uniform shape. Unhide this one. And we are going to have the last one. Let's add another cube in, make it editable. I think I will need more space on the sides. Okay, let's go into model mode and pull this out. Actually, let me hide this one, select this object, go into polygon mode, select this polygon and move it over here. I believe the thickness should be larger than what we had. To be sure, I'm gonna add a cylinder in, put it over here. Then I will scale it up, move that down. So as long as these fits, I think we can keep that polygon over here. Then I'm going to unhide this new cube and move it somewhere around here make it editable, 
go into edge mode, ring selection, select these edges. This time I believe we are gonna need something different for the bells. Let's apply and see what we are gonna get. Yes, as you can see, the radius is not what we want, so I'm gonna make it slightly larger. All right, not bad, it's gonna work. Maybe just a little bit scaling in so that I can fit these little cubes in. All right, now it's time to merge these. I'm gonna turn this off for the moment. And actually let's turn this off as well. I'm gonna select the first cube, cube hold down Alt, select pull and put the second one in over here. First thing first, it's gonna try to subtract it, but we want union. So that if you look at over here inside, if I turn this on and off, you are gonna see the effect we are getting. It basically deletes the polygons inside, and this is really important, especially in subdivision surface workflow. Then I will put another bool over this, and this time I will put this one in. Again, it's gonna try to separate it, but we want union. Again, check the inside. Inside is very important. It should be very clean. Okay, everything is looking clear. I'm gonna select this bot and enable create single object and make the first one editable hit C. And that's all. Now let's add in other details such as these little cubes. So let's add this one in, scale it and put it over here. And somewhere like here. make it editable and move that edge down. Right now the axis is set to axis, but I'm gonna change it to world. So the axis will be parallel to my world axis, as you can see. Move this down just a bit and I'm gonna bevel this to make it softer, rounder, something like we have in the image plane. Now I will go into model mode. Hold down control, drag this off, rotate it 90 degrees, hold down shift. Oops, one more time. And it should be over here. I believe this is supposed to be smaller. Actually, you know what? I will go back to this one and bevel these out with a lower subdivision. Lower is always better. Yeah, something like that. Then I will probably need a new cube because these are slightly different. It looks like that cube is supposed to be somewhere around here. That means that we need to select that object and move these points on the X. Yeah, that is looking all right. We don't have to follow the image plane all the time. Hold on control, move this down. Then I'm gonna select this bot, hold on control again, drag this off over here. Okay. I will select these five of them, group them, Alt and G, select the bool again, Alt down Alt and the bool. I'm gonna enable create single object and it's change its type to union and put this in. That's all. Check the insides. Yeah, everything is looking clear, which means that we can make it editable. Perfect. Now I want to add these holes in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. First, I will add a cylinder, change its orientation to plus Z, move it over here, scale it, scale it down. Just because we are using booleans, it doesn't mean that we can put in whatever we want. I am talking about rotation segments. We need to 
wash these out like that i mean you should always have a connection between the shapes we have for example if i set is set this too high like 16 it's not going to be possible to connect this letter so we should select something like 8 then i'm gonna rotate it slightly so that i can connect that point to that one and that one to that one and that one to that one then i will hit w on my keyboard which will change the objects access to world then i can hold down control and move this over here perfect again we get we get a perfect match select this bolt hold down control move, sorry not that one hold down control move this down okay by the way i will select this one again and i'm gonna need to move this down okay again select this uh, sorry i have two more of these hold down control move this one over here scale it down and another one this one is supposed to be larger and they should be inside of the objects now select them all six of them same stuff alt ng group them select the bool at put it under a bool so change its type to union create single object and fit this in nothing happens because i made a mistake this time i should use subtraction perfect this is exactly what we want maybe let me see i can move this out slightly I'm going to make the bool editable, hit C, then let's see what we have. Yes, the first cylinder we add for the measurements. I think I can keep it as it is right now. If you check the edges, you can see that we can connect that edge to that edge easily. That one to that one and that edge to that edge. But let me make sure I will bring these down rotation segments to see if we can get something better but no 16 is looking great maybe 18 is a better choice yes now they align much better this side is not that important another one we have over here hold on control drag this off scale this in and I suppose it's supposed to be somewhere around here. Move it here. Now again, I need to be sure that these edges will align both vertically and horizontally. So first thing first, I'm gonna rotate my cylinder. Actually, we could have done that on that one as well, but I'm going to skip it and focus on this one so as you can see these edges don't match perfectly so let's try to lower this down to let's say 16 still not a good choice 15 yes 15 is looking nice uh, sorry 14 is looking okay i'm gonna keep this one then let's see i will grab this one back again hold on control it over here scale that okay this is looking nice then of course we don't need that much segments i will first try eight let's rotate it a little bit mm, i don't know let's try a uh, sorry six okay six is looking nice as you can see I can match these edges later easily and I believe we have another one and it is supposed to be somewhere around here 
actually no my mistake this one is supposed to be over here and this one is supposed to be here and the last one i will hold on control clone this cylinder scale that By the way, we don't need any height segments, so I'm gonna set this to one, select them all and type in one. I'm gonna check this one in because we need to, actually, you know what? We don't need to change anything because the surface is pretty flat, so we can have whatever we want. But just in case, I'm gonna lower it down to 12. Select them all, Alt and G, Put this one into a bool and put this one also. We want a union. Check the inside. Okay, I am really happy with the shape. No problems at all. Which means that I can enable a single object and make it editable. Perfect. Uh, we got our object now it is time to clean it up to clean it up i always start off with mesh checking go over here go to mesh checking enable check mesh and i would go to the edge points and click on that it basically selects all the empty points on an edge then we can delete them this is gonna help us to clean the mesh. Of course, it is not enough. We need to clean most of these by hand. By hand, I mean polygon pen tool. Grab that, right click, and start to clean up your mesh. For example, this one, this empty point is useless. I'm gonna link that point to that one. Then this one, for example. Let's see this one. This one, I can connect this point to that one and this one. By the way, I have just noticed that I skipped that big circular shape around here. So let me add that one in. Add a cylinder, change its orientation, scale it up. Okay, this is looking nice. No height segments. So let's see if we could connect these two objects later. For example, that point could go over there, but I think it's gonna be a really tight place if I do that. That point will have to go to this one. So actually, if I grab Google tool. I can explain it's better. This point will be connected to this one, and this one to this one. Sorry, actually, this is not a line. I am seeing the work plane. I will turn this off. And this point will be connected to that one. Maybe something like that. Uh, I, I am not sure about this so just in case i'm gonna bring this up to let's say 22 now it's gonna be much easier you can connect these like that this one can go over there these ones like that then another one okay this is looking okay first let's delete that total and fit this in pull cylinder subtraction is what we want click on create single object and make it editable i'm gonna go here one more time mesh checking select edge points and delete them now i will go back to polygon pen tool and i will try to clean up my mesh like here and here then this one i will need 
a new line over here and new edge so i'm going to connect these two and i can connect these as well the reason that we are getting we are getting these colorful polygons is because of the mesh checking i will turn this off it's probably bad polygons or not planner polygons turn this off or we can turn them off all continue to clean up you know what let's come over here and let's start to clean up the mesh starting from that polygon it's gonna be more organized i'm gonna connect these first these are the most obvious and easiest points then i'm gonna connect that to that one also we should always add these edges this kind of edges are gonna help us to retrain that curve when i add the side region surface so i will try to do that on all of these rounder parts for example over here and here like this one then here and here let me undo this okay let's go back to this one and i'm gonna connect that point to that one then actually i will need to connect this one to this one delete that one if you hold down control and click on an edge with polygon pen tool it's gonna dissolve it okay let's stick to the front parts this one then again as i've told you i will need these supporting edges right on the curves i can link this then this one let's quickly connect the most obvious ones Same here, I will try to follow the same approach first, the easier ones. This is kind of a puzzle if you know the rules. It is something enjoyable. Some find this process a little, you know, boring, but I really like to play with the polygons. Okay, I think the top, uh, sorry, not top, but the front part is looking pretty good for me. Now let's work on these polygons. Grab polygon pen tool again, and let's see. We need to connect that empty point to somewhere like that point then i will go up and connect these then connect these points then same thing again i'm gonna connect these points then for the leftovers we need to connect these as well 
same here connect that point to that one sometimes polygon pen tool may want to create any polygon in such cases i just hit e on the keyboard which gives me the move tool then i usually use uh, i usually grab back polygon pen tool so this kind of restarts the uh, tool then i can connect these one more time same here connect these points then we are looking okay then that part if i connect these two points it's going to create two quads i know they are looking kind of triangles but they are angles actually they they have four points i think we are done with here now let's work on that huge angle grab back polygon pen tool again always once use that point as a spotting edge as i showed you also you need to watch the sizes of these new polygons they should roughly the same then i can Connect this one to this one, then this one to this one. Uh, as you can see, this is trying to create a new polygon. I'm gonna hit E and grab back polygon pen tool one more time. Let's connect it over here, then this one to this one. Then let's see, I think I can connect these two points. Then I could go across and link that point to that one. You can see that this is giving us some problems, especially on that hole. If I undo that, you are gonna see that after I added that the line between these two points, the hole is closed and this is usual angle problem. So if you are having this kind of problem, select the end gun, right click end guns and say remove end guns. Then we are going to be okay. I can connect these right now and I will keep the shape. These three polygons looking great. Also, this part is not that bad. I'm gonna add that one in, then we can get rid of that edge. Also, we can put this one over here and another edge, another one. This part is getting messy, so let's see what we can do. The first obvious one that H could go, then I can get rid of that one as well and go up instead. Same here, get rid of this one and go up. We can connect this, then this one, maybe over here, then another one which means that I need to connect this one over here which gives us a triangle let's see how we can get rid of that we are gonna probably need a vertical uh, sorry horizontal line then we can get rid of this one and let's see Okay, not bad. Maybe I can connect these, then this one to this one, get rid of that edge. As you can see, everything is turning out to be quads. 
this is exactly what we want these can go over there which means that i need to create any path starting from here actually this is going to be useful for us so that we can connect that to that one and this one to let's say yes we have a weird shape over here but we can create new edges out of that messy part and create new paths and one more coming up but I can connect this one to this one perfect as you can see every polygon is quad of course we need to create the, see the result while the subdivision surface is on but for now everything is looking okay for me then over here I need to add these edges uh, polygon pencil trying to create polygons actually you know what I know I don't need to go all the way up I can connect these points like that same here but you don't want to have this kind of edges as you can see it is stretched out which will probably give us a bad surface so i'm gonna move this up also these edges this edge should be up so that we are gonna have same sized polygons of course they are not perfect but it's not that important also i am not sure about this yet but for the moment i will try to get rid of these empty points as simple as possible so i will do something like that we are gonna see the results after the subdivision surface these ones are easy again this is looking kind of triangle but it is a mess it has four points This should be up. Okay, we are done with that side. Now it's time to clean that part. Same polygon pen tool. Connect the points. I will need vertical edges over there. Connect these. Now let's see. I'm gonna move that point to there because our main target will be these cylinders. We want to retrain their shapes. So when you encounter with this kind of situations, try to retrain the cylindrical shapes. And over here, I need to add these in. Then let me see if these are connected well. Yeah, everything is looking nice now. I can connect that one to that one, this one to this one. 
this one over there and here we go everything is looking perfect so you can see the importance of setting these up properly at the beginning i am talking about the segments of the cylinders if you set them good you are not going to have any problems later while cleaning the mesh up Again, do something like that again. And this one, hmm, I think we should go this way. I will probably need to add this one in, or oh, we are gonna see for the moment. I will leave it like that. Let's see that side. Okay, this part is looking pretty fine. I can move these like that. Then again, that vertical edge. These are gonna need to be connected to somewhere and we have a cylinder over there so let's connect this then hmm, this one we need to put this one in and I believe Hmm, I'm not sure, but let's try it. Okay, that worked well. I brought this up and notice that whenever I need to move a point, I usually use slide tool. Otherwise, if you use polygon pen tool, you're gonna probably move it out of its own position. So you know you are gonna break the surface, but if you use slide tool, it's gonna retain its shape, its position. I think I should do something like that or over here. I know it is giving us a triangle, but for the moment I want to keep it as simple as possible, especially on flat surfaces. Again, triangles are not a big deal. Now let's check this part. Most of these will go up. This one over here. Again, everything is quad. Okay. 
delete these and continue to hit these ones okay i think we are looking nearly done except these ones let me connect these quickly You know what? I believe you could use remove Engans tool. Yes. Same here. If the point counts match, you can always use Engans remove Engans tool. Then the only part that we need to clean is this part, which is very flat, which means that. I could use inset tool then lift the inside polygons. I usually use close polygon hold tool with great option is enabled. I know it is not a great result, but you know it is up to you. Or you can keep it as and gun, then grab polygon pen tool and connect the points by yourself. We are gonna check that later. Let me check my mesh one more time. Actually, we could get a help from mesh checking. I'm gonna enable check mesh. And we just want edge points and isolated points. These are gonna show up in different colors. These are gonna be okay because these are cylindrical objects. For example, that one, this is an empty point. Select them and delete. This one is a little different. I believe we need to merge this one. Let's see. I'm gonna click on them while the polygon panel is selected. All right, we cleaned up the mesh, but did we do a good job? To see it, I will put that into a side vision surface and I will check the wireframes. If you hit NB, you are gonna see the wireframes of the object. Let's start from here. Mm, no problem at all. Everything is looking pretty good. Same here. No problem. No problem. Very good topology. Then we have this part. I will mostly use polygon pen tool to fix the mesh up. Hit Q again and I'm gonna move that point. As you can see, there these are duplicated. I'm gonna merge this one back and it's gonna fix it. Then it looks like I forgot to connect the points. I will right click select remove and guns tool and this is gonna fix it immediately. Go up. This part is a little tight, but it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, also let me delete that's Engan for the moment. And so let's check this. It looks like I need to connect that point to that one. Perfect. This one is looking okay. Then over here, you can see that we have these weird wireframe patterns, which is not supposed to happen. I'm gonna connect this. Enable the subdivision surface back, hit Q, and this one. Okay, now it is looking pretty good. Over here again, this point. Then we have the point and the last one. We have two of these. Perfect. For the center disk. I believe I could grow my selection and delete this completely because I could select this, scale this in while holding control. Oh, sorry, then I'm gonna move this in and add another extrusion. Enable South Division Surface one more time. Check the mesh from different angles to detect any problems. I think we passed the test, everything is looking clear, now it's time to make it better. Before proceeding further, I think we should fix these parts 
I am talking about these little cubes. If you enable side view surface, you are gonna see some stretching, and I am sure that this is gonna cause some problems. So let's fix that. First, I will make a loop selection in edge mode. Select these edges, grab select tool, hold down control and select these in. Then I will go into points mode, grab polygon pen tool, and we can connect these points. Then I'm gonna add these edges so that I can delete these. Same here. Perfect. Let's not forget this edge to hit Q. Now you are gonna see a much better topology. If you compare these two, you are gonna see the difference. Always stay away from these kind of stretches. Now let's fix that quickly. Connect. Add this one in. Connect. Over here. Uh, because of that sliding, these are intersecting, so I should get rid of that edge, then connect that point. I'm gonna connect these over there. Hit Q to detect any problems, and it looks like we have none. Then over here, the same thing, I should delete that poly edge, then it these new edges. Hit Q and everything is looking clear. By the way, let me make a loop selection and delete these polygons for the moment. Now, of course, we want to add supporting edges. There are two ways. One is the manual way. I am talking about adding supporting edges with loop cuts or polygon pen tool, or maybe we can include the line cuts as well. So basically, as we always do, you need to add this by yourself to make the edges sharper. Like here, here, and here, maybe here. Of course, this comes with a cost and it is the time. This is gonna take you longer to add these sporting edges, but it is gonna give you more better and accurate results. And I usually use that option use that method to add sporting edges to my objects but there is a faster way and today i'm gonna show you that one let me undo this because uh, i don't want to show you the first method you you, you already know that it is very simple you just add these edges by yourself but the second method is gonna be much faster. Of course, this is gonna come with a cost. Your topology will not be super clean. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. First, let's salt down shift. Let me hit N and B to see the wireframes of the object. I will hold down shift and add a bevel deformer. I will turn off this for the moment, go back to my object, go into edge mode, click off, to deselect everything, then go to select and select phone break selection. This is gonna basically select all the hard edges, but we need to change our phone angle to let's say 40 maybe. If you check the insides of the cylinders, these are all also selected, but we don't want that. So I'm gonna increase that to let's say 50. All right, not bad. Let's check the others. These edges are selected, which means that I need to increase that up. Let's make it 62. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna select all. We can hit E on the keyboard, which is the move tool. I will select these as well. To add them to my selection for example these edges as well so these selected edges will be beveled basically so try to select the edges you want to bevel them like here then maybe over here 
double clicking on these edges may not work so let's do it with loop selection let's not forget these edges i think we are okay now i will go to selection one more time and I'm, I'm gonna select store selection it's gonna store all of these edges we have just selected i don't know about these let's just delete them we only need this one and i can rename that to bevel now let's go back to the bevel deformer enable that and put that store selection we have just created over here and turn off use angle option so that bevel deformer will only bevel the edges we have just selected i think we are gonna need more set like two then i'm gonna change my filtering to patch you are gonna see the difference when i change the filtering this is the default one and this is the patch the reason for that i will show you in a minute we are gonna face another problem these little triangles they are all over the place if i enable the subdivision surface you are gonna see it better like over here 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 and here i am sure we have a bunch of these yes like here but i know a good way to clean these up and it's gonna be the connect object i will go into model mode hold down alt and select connect object the reason I selected the connect object is because the weld option if I increase that tolerance like 2 it's gonna start to clean these triangles which is very handy it's gonna make our job a lot easier and faster I will enable soldering surface to see if we have any problems something is not right over here yes these are not welded so let's increase that up to let's say 2.5 perfect and every subdivision surface i think we can clean this manually same here so don't expect 100 percent accuracy when using uh, deformers and generators Okay, I think I will take that and make the connect object editable. If you make it editable, it's going to automatically apply the bevel deformer. Let's see, and this is what you are going to get. Now I'm going to enable subdivision surface to detect any problems and try to clean up my mesh. Going to points mode, grab polygon pen tool, and let's see where we should start. These are looking okay, but this part is not. I'm gonna move this one over here. Yeah, we are gonna have a bunch of end guns. Now we need to clean these end guns. It's gonna be really easy. I will just connect these first. Then get rid of this one as well. This is gonna go up over here. Then I'm gonna connect this one to this one. This one will be here. Then this go over here. I can merge these two then same thing again always the same pattern you can connect this one to this one this one over here this is gonna go down over here okay 
okay if you hit q you are we are gonna get a much cleaner result let's check the other parts yeah these leftovers let's clean these up it's gonna be easy just merge them with polygon pen tool We have the same pattern over here again one more time and I will basically do the same thing. This one over here, mm, it is trying to create a polygon, I'm going to reset it and maybe we can start from here, still the same, maybe this is the reason, that point, yeah, that fixed that, Q, perfect. We have some triangles, but you can never mind them, subdivision surface will fix that for us, they are uh, subdivision surface will convert them into quads as you can see. So let's go to the phone tag and turn off Edge Rex. I am not sure about here. Let's try to make it better. All right, these cylinders are looking nice. We should connect these. Then over here, let's see what we can do. I can add this one in. Actually, no, we don't need to add that one in. I can get rid of that edge. And maybe I can put this one over here. No. First thing, let's add that edge. Then yeah, I can delete that edge. I know we have a big angle, but I don't think it's gonna create any problems. Then over here, same thing again. I should create any pads. These edges will basically help us to loosen it up. It's gonna lower the tension. Then here, let's see. Something like that. That edge is not supposed to be there. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna make a selection slide that down this is gonna also help us to lower the tension i think that triangle might be a problem okay much better mm, and here
let's delete this and connect this one over there. Still not good. Okay, it looks like I need to get rid of these edges. I'm going to stop right over here, maybe here, yeah, now it's looking much better. I believe over here we are going to need to add more sporting edges, for example, this one. Yes, much better, same here, oops, selection, and slide this out. And let me see if I can do something like that. I will slide these points in, which will give us these quads. Also, Cinema 4D has just crashed, so I had to rebuild these sporting edges. So my topology might look a little different. Let's try to relax over here And then let's do something different on these holes. Yeah, I should scale this in. I'm gonna do that with shift key on the keyboard. Let's scale them mm, 90 percent. Then I'm gonna hit these sporting edges. Perfect. So the reason that I use shift tool by scaling this down so that I can apply the same amount on the others, 90% and sporting edges. Right. Then I will make another loop selection. Then I'm gonna hold down control and slide these in because these points may look weird when you enable subdivision surface, as you can see. So I'm gonna make a small extrusion. Then, of course, this is gonna make this edges too sharp. To soften it up, I'm gonna slide this like that. Perfect. If you are obsessed with the quads, you can use close polygon hole tool. For example, I can make an inset, then delete, then close polygon hole tool, select grid option for the polygon type, and just Click on. It's that easy. Then let's see. It looks like these are supposed to be lower. Like that. Then I can make any sets. Move that up. Maybe another one. Then delete sporting edges. Perfect. I am really happy with the results. Uh, as I told you, I usually try to add my sporting edges 
by hand, uh, I mean by adding manually with slip cards and polygon control. But if you have a limited time, you can always use bevel deformer with connect object. Also, uh, I believe I forgot to mention why I used patch mod for the bevel deformer right here for filtering. So basically, if you select patch mod, the bevel deformer will work better with the connect object. This is basically it. Connect object is gonna make a better job while welding the points if you select if you change your military to patch of course you can experiment the other ones 